I think that the decision of the court um, certainly undermines the right to information legislation and the extent to which people can use it to seek information. Because essentially, we were asking the NCA to give us the list of radio stations they have shut down. Mm -hmm. And then the list of radio stations that are operational in the country and the date on which these radio stations were authorized and the last date that they renewed the authorization. And something as basic as this. Surprisingly, the NCA writes back to say we have to pay 2000 And the reason they give is that what the information we are requesting will require that they do a lot of hard work and a lot of research to be able to generate the list of radio stations that they themselves have shut down and the list of radio stations that they themselves have authorized and then the extent to which uh, they have renewed or otherwise. And we thought that, I mean, why would an institution that regulates the industry, you send down radio stations and we simply say, give us the list, and then you say you have to do research to be able to get that. So we go to court, and then at the end of it, the court says, well, don't pay 2,000, instead pay 1,500, mm. a reduction of 500. I, in my view, the, the question to ask is, what is the court saying we should pay for? That the court is saying we should pay for the time that they will spend in doing the research or the hard work that they would have to do to generate the list of radio stations that they themselves have shut down. I think this was so fundamental, and it is that, that's why it's so curious that the judge would award you know that amount of money to be paid to NCA in order to access that money. I don't think that we pass the right information law so that public institutions can begin to sell information. But so far, that is what we are experiencing.